Right, awesome. So thanks, thanks everyone for coming to, uh, to Roscon, now the, the third annual Roscon. I hope you all had a great time. Um, first, I'd like to just, I've got some, uh, some remarks to say at the end here, but as I said, first, as Brian said at the beginning, I'd like to thank our sponsors, um, especially, some, especially all the new ones. Well, both all the new ones who are, who are just coming on board and seeing what a great community we've got here, and also all the old ones who are seeing that this is something that, that bears supporting. So if, uh, if I could get a round of applause for all the people here who are actually talking. And obviously as well to all the people who helped put this together. So um, to, to, to Tully, to, to Brian and Jarvis, our, our local chair, um, there's a lot, of, a lot of hard work put in there. Um, to our program committee as well. <laughs> um, they're uh, for taking care of and doing a lot of these uh, paper reviews as well. Uh, incredible thanks to, uh, to Jarvis's team, um, Jarvis's minions rather, um, for helping put this, for helping really, it came in Thursday night to, to help put all of these bags together to help get the reg desk set up. And I, I know a lot of them have been wanting to come in, but Jarvis has handcuffed them to the, uh, to the registration desk. Um, and then finally, obviously for everybody here, this conference would not be what it is without you. Um, we continue to see this, this community changing and, and growing in all sorts of different ways. Um, you saw the, the huge variety of, of talks that were given um, at previous Roscons, and now some of you are experiencing that for yourself at this Roscon, um, from everything from people building their own robots on the side, academics doing state-of-the-art research. We, we saw Ross being used in space. Like This is a, a great a great community that we've built here, and I'm pretty sure we, we still remain the, the only robotics developers conference on the planet. So thank you all again for coming out here. And uh, as always, because this is kind of one of the tenets of Roscon, and, and you know, it, it, does, it does cost a little bit of uh, extra money to get these professionals in here. Um, who we should also thank, by the way, for having for doing some great work. So thanks, thanks as well to the staff and uh, and the recording the recording team here. Um, so moreover, we we bring these professionals in because we believe this the that just like the code we develop and and the documentation we create, that everything that people share here is should be open, should be shared, and benefited by those who aren't fortunate enough, whether time or money, to come and travel to these locations. Um, so it'll all be freely available online, all the videos. Um, we'll work on the presentations as well, um, getting all that up. Um, Roscon 2015, because people are already asking about this. Um, actually, I think they were asking about this a few months ago. Uh, we don't know where it will be next. Um, probably not North America. Just odds are this is a global community. We'll probably be not in North America, but we'll see. There will be a survey. Um, it'll probably go out over um, both to this group and Ross users, honestly. We're not quite sure right now. Are we, how, did we do it last time? Oh, it'll definitely go to this, to this mailing list. You'll, you'll get it here. Um, and then also, for those of you who are wondering how you grew, joined that group of shadowy figures before, um, if you're interested in joining the org committee, who are the people who, the, the smaller committee who makes all the, the decisions in the end about where we're going and, and what, you, what you're gonna be having for breaks and how much we're gonna be running or how long we're gonna be running the bar, um, all of those things. Um, or the program committee, so you read all the presentations and all the proposals that come in and, uh, and judge them. Or, um, or if you want to really put in the time like Jarvis did this year and like, uh, like Alex, who's around here, did the, uh, the year before and become the local chair who involves really a lot of the work on the ground, getting ready, um, becoming the, the hands of the rest of the org committee and program committee, please email uh, info at osrfoundation.com. And uh, dot org, really? Okay, okay, that's, I th yeah, I, I think .com works because I definitely checked that. So, or .org, pick one. Um, other stuff, uh, Roscon is but once a year um, because we do have to sleep sometimes, but we do encourage meetup groups, and I believe we sometimes encourage meetup groups with stickers. So um, let Tully know if you're having meetup groups, and we'll see how quickly we can run Tully out of stickers. Um, also, pardon? We just reordered, excellent, a challenge. Um, we have all sorts of beautiful Ross bags at the front because we may have accidentally over-ordered. So Ross bags, 
um, flyers and, uh, and Ross topic uh, pint glasses. So just come on up if you want some more. Come on up, bring them home, because otherwise we're going to try to fit all of them into Brian's luggage allowance, and the OSRF cannot afford that much overweight baggage. Um, and then uh, finally, it's picture time for everybody. So if you could all come up to the front, and I believe we have a nice camera around here, and yeah, we'll do something a little different. There we go. <laughs>